Hey guys, Mr. P. In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the ultrastructure of a eukaryotic animal cell based on an electron micrograph. And so the first thing we want to do is we want to give our cell a general outline. Now, because this is a eukaryotic animal cell, we are not going to draw a cell wall. And we're also not going to make the cell rectangular or square shaped like we did in our last video. And so we're going to label this outside structure cell membrane. Next, we're going to go inside of the cell and we're going to give this cell a nucleus. Because this is a eukaryotic animal cell, it has a nucleus. Now the nuclear envelope, just like in our last video, is double membraned, meaning there's two membranes. It also has pores, and so we're going to label this the nucleus. But we're also going to go ahead and label these holes, or these pores, nuclear pores. Okay, on the inside of our nucleus, we're going to have DNA. Now, this DNA is going to be in the form of chromatin until the, the cell is ready to duplicate uh, or divide, um, at which point it will produce chro uh, chromosomes. We will go ahead and label this DNA. And so, so far we have a cell membrane, we have our nucleus complete with our nuclear envelope, we have nuclear pores, and we have our DNA. We can also go ahead and label this core of the nucleus the nucleolus, which is a kind of densely packed core within our nucleus of our eukaryotic animal cells. On the outside of our nucleus, we will have a series of folded membranes these are all interconnected, and these membranes are going to be associated with uh, ribosomes. And so you will see that there are dots associated with this particular membrane. This organelle as a whole is called the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And those dots are going to be referred to as ADS ribosomes, which are the designation or is the designation of ribosomes within a eukaryotic animal cell. Now, these ADS ribosomes can also be free and not associated with the rough ER. And so these ADS ribosomes can also be free within the cytoplasm. It is important to note that as well. The fluid inside of our cell membrane would be considered or would be labeled cytoplasm. Inside of our cytoplasm, outside or uh, kind of to the exterior of our rough endoplasmic reticulum, you'll come across a non-interconnected set of folded membranes. This is going to be our Golgi apparatus. Okay, outside of that, are going to be small circles, which we can uh, put little protein products, little cellular products in. These would be lysosome. And the last thing we need to include is the mitochondria, which is a double membrane structure as well, with the inner membrane being folded up into those cristae. So we will label this mitochondria. which is the organelle responsible for uh, producing the energy. There you have it. This would be the requirements for earning full marks on how to draw a eukaryotic animal cell from an electron micrograph. If you learned something in this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, hit the subscribe button, leave your questions in the comments. See ya.